today. We're, so today we're making wild mushroom chestnut and alpine with minty peas and potato wedges. <clears throat> mm, so what's how good is today? We've got one tablespoon of whole grain mustard. We've got 70 grams of dried porcini mushrooms. We've got some chestnuts. We've got two and a half tablespoons of flour. We've got one tablespoon of light brown sugar. We've got three springs of thyme and three springs of rosemary. We've got 50 ml of dark soy sauce. We've got some soy cream for glazing our pastry. We've got three garlic cloves. We've got a pinch of thyme and basil. And we've got four small onions diced, 300 ml brown ale, some just rolled puff pastry shrinks, and one kilo of mixed mushrooms, portobello, chestnut, oyster, shiitake, all mixed in with a drizzle of oil. So firstly, to take the mushrooms, bung them in the oven for 15 minutes at 160. So now we're gonna take our dried mushrooms, rinse with warm water, put them in a jug, cover with boiling water, and let them soak for 15 minutes. Splash of oil in a pan, onions and garlic go in. Cook the onions and garlic for about 10 minutes. Now we're gonna add our rosemary and thyme, and our sugar. Gonna cook this for a further 10 minutes until the onions are nice, golden, and sweet. Our mushrooms are coming out of the oven. <laughs> mushrooms out, steamy glasses. Now we're gonna add the owl, bring to a simmer, cook for five to 10 minutes, or until it's reduced by about two thirds. Now we're gonna drain the dried mushrooms, chop up the dried mushrooms. So we're gonna sprinkle over the flour and stir it in until it's smooth. After the flour, we're gonna add the mushroom juices, the soy sauce, and the mustard. So stir that all in, simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes until thickened. Cut five inch squared for the pastry, as shown here. Just brush a little bit of soy cream over it. They go into the oven, 220, till they're risen, nice and golden. Now we're gonna add uh, dry drained mushrooms and uh, roasted mushrooms. Stir them in, reheating. Got all that lovely goodness. A bit of pepper. Now we're gonna take some of these chestnuts, chop them up a little bit, throw them in the mix. So the pastry's out, let it cool for a few minutes. Now we're gonna cut a little square for our opening. And spoon in our goodiness. Don't forget, if you make loads of this, you could always freeze it and then use it again later. And all you need is to do your pastries. Dig in. This is a very hearty bit of grub, courtesy of Mildred's. Mildred's, fantastic. This is so good, it's like... Mm. Shabbat.